Hello and welcome to your first tutorial in XHTML. And in case you're wondering, this is also my first tutorial, so I'm a bit nervous. Even though for once my audience is exactly zero people. But anyways, let's uh, get started. So in the tools part of my website, or if you're watching on YouTube, you should see in the description a link to Notepad++, which is the program, the text editor I will be using for XHTML. You can also use Dreamweaver, that's another popul popular uh, text editor. Very similar, they operate very similarly, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, so let's open this up. So you'll start off with a blank sheet just like this, and in order to open new tabs, it look, works very much like Firefox, you can just open new tabs that way. But let me just close these now. Um, now, you might be wondering, in, in case you're not a, like an uber programmer or whatever, and you're just happening across this video series, and you're wondering if this is the, if this is the language that you want to learn, um, let me just confirm that for you. You might be wanting to l learn the language uh, that looks like this. You have a open tag like this, and then you have a closing tag like this. If this is the look of the language that you want to learn, then you're in the right place, even though these aren't real tags. But if you've ever been like on a forum and you've seen people type like that, this is that very same language, and you can do much more than you've ever seen on a forum or anywhere else on the internet. So let's get started. So the first thing, I, there's going to be a lot more material in this video series than in any other, or in this this very first video, than any other video in this entire series. And I really do not want you to get intimidated. HTML and XHTML are very simple languages to learn and very fun, in my opinion, the most fun to learn. This is why this is the very first language I'm teaching, because um, pretty hard to make a mistake. Uh, so you're gonna see some things that look like it'll go right over your head, but it won't. It, it, it's it's not. It's things that I will elaborate on in future videos. So if I'm talking about things and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then don't freak out because this is this will be a bit shocking. Uh, now, in order for a website in to read your document, there are certain lines of code that you'll need automatically, and I'm just going to copy and paste them on this text document. They'll also be on my website under this embedded video, also in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. So it's a lot of copy and paste, and I'm going to do that right now. Boom, this thing is huge. Let me shrink this. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to copy and paste is this line here, and this is this line and you'll see this next line is just fetching the data from this website this this website is pretty much the website that will allow your um, that will allow your browser to read the information it will know where it's getting that information from without it it won't be able to read any tags and the whole file itself will be illegible to the browser so you, you'll need these so this is a straight copy and paste here Then below this, we're going to have our first HTML tag. Now every web page, every, every uh, sheet of code always starts off with an HTML tag like this. And as you might know from XHTML, there's also a closing tag, which has a forward slash in front of the main tag. So now I'm just going to move this down because everything goes in between these two tags now again we have to fetch data from this website in order to do this we're going to type in and again it will be under it will be in the description of the video xlms equals two quotes and then you have to plug in the website name so i'm going to do that right now copy uh, paste and now it'll now the browser will be able to read this now before I go any further I want to add in like the little colored features that this document has so I'm gonna save it so I'm gonna click this save button and geez I'm gonna go to files and then now in here 
I'm going to name my web file index. In case you're wondering why I'm calling it index, it's because the main page on any website is always called index. It's always referred to as index. So if you're ever linking back to the home page, the web browser is referring, it, referring to it as the index, which makes sense. And as file type, we'll be using HTML. And you can always rewrite it as any of these others. And as you can see, there's XHTML. You can just leave it as HTML. It's all right. Just trust me. You don't have to have the XHTML there. So I'll click Save. And yay, now we get the colors. I like colors. Next, we're going to have the header tags. Now, the header tags, again, this is something that we're not going to really deal with that much. But these are where you'll find your scripts, uh, links to style sheets, meta information. And there is one bit of meta information that we'll also need in here, so I'm going to do that now. Other than that, you really don't have to worry about the header tags. So allow me to type that in now. Just like that. Now within the header tags, I'm going to put in plug in this meta information. Now this is a unique tag because it's going to end with that backslash. And within that tag will go this, and this is the last thing you'll have to copy and paste. Just like that. Now this is everything that you would need in order for a browser to read this. Now one more thing that you might want to be able to put in your head tag, just, just for fun, I can teach you now, is the title of your website. So I'm going to do that now. I believe this is the information that goes in your tab. So I'll just click uh, this is the title. I'll click save. Then I'm going to open this. And you should be able to see right here, this is the title. And it's in the, oh, let me close that other stuff. It's in the tab of this window. So that's pretty much it for the header file. Header file. All the other stuff I was talking about, like style CSS, cascading style sheets, referring to those, uh, I'm not going to teach you now. That's just way too much, and that's just way out there. It's a couple days worth of learning out of the way. Uh, so I'm just going to move on to the body tags. Now the body tags. This is where pretty much all your main code goes for making paragraphs, putting in images, nav navigation bars, everything, almost everything, of course, except for the header information, will go be in this uh, in the body tags. So you can just type in something very simple like, hi, I'll click save, then when you refresh your page by clicking F5, oh, the word's higher there, that's pretty cool, mm, maybe not. But this is just where all your basic information is. So I'm going to leave this blank. And in, in case you'd like to know, I'll just rewrite this as title right here. What I like to do in my spare time, or just to make things easier, is to just copy and paste this in every document I create. Every time I'm creating a new HTML document, I'll always have this so that I don't always have to always retype everything. And it'll make things very much easy, e easier. And as you can see, after your body tag and your closed body tag, you have a closed HTML tag. And this will end uh, what your browser reads. You should never, I, I, I don't know of anything that you'd ever put past this. So, uh, other than that, this is pretty much it for your first video. You should pretty much cover everything, your basic website, everything's up. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this and you'll continue on to the next video.